All right, so you want to know if I like somebody who pays other people to murder innocent animals just for their taste pleasure. Hmm. What do you think? You want to know if a millionaire from YouTube who said that she would like to punch a cow when I was talking about how animals feel pain. You want to know if I like that person. What do you think? So you want to know if I like somebody who pays others to steal the milk from a baby cow and then have his throat slit. Yeah, what do you think? Hey, I'm responding to a comment that wasn't left in my comment section, but in somebody else's. And uh, because they're referring to Canadians, I thought I would chime in here since I am here in Canada. Now you're talking about people who might not have access to healthy vegan foods or to a grocery store, I assume. Um, in that case, we're not here to bully you or to even address you, honestly. You have your own issues to care about at the moment. However, if you are a native Canadian and you live across the street and there are grocery stores right over here, then yes, we're going to hold you accountable. You, like anyone else, can afford and have access to any other fruits, vegetables, nuts and seeds and therefore you must be an ethical vegan and you must do what's best for the animals and not live selfishly. That is, if you want to be a good person. Good people don't hurt animals just for their taste pleasure. The egg industry is just a cycle of misery. They lie to you endlessly. Don't buy eggs. Walk away. Go to egg-truth.com today. Check the label. a really good reason why you should be vegan. Why only one? Why don't you go research the hours and hours of documentaries that all of us vegans have already bothered to watch? You can do that. You don't need me to give you one reason. There are thousands of reasons. In fact, billions. Billions of animals are suffering right now who are bred into existence just for people's taste pleasure. They would not normally be here on the planet and they are suffering terribly on factory farms. Now most people are too afraid to learn the truth. So they come and they ask vegans to just give them one quick reason. It's ridiculous. Go and watch Dominion or Earthlings or Cowspiracy or Seaspiracy or Forks Over Knives or the Game Changers. Do I need to go on? In the grocery store, you can decide not to buy murder anymore. In the grocery store, you can sing the song, and you can decide to be vegan from now on. Okay, you want me to react to the song that goes like this? I was made for loving you, baby. You were made for loving me. That one? What, what do you mean? What do you want me to say about it? Are there any vegan words in that song? Are there vegan lyrics that I'm not aware of? 
You know, I never liked the band Kiss because of the way that they were all dressed in this makeup. It kind of creeped me out. I never liked masks. You know, I never liked clowns, so I'm not sure what you want me to do. What do you mean by react? <laughs> Could you be more specific in the comments, maybe? Maybe you meant you want me to dance to it. Is that what you meant? I don't know. Plants don't feel pain, they don't have a brain, they don't have a nervous system, so it's okay to bite into them. You have a heart, you know where to start. Share this song and be vegan from now on. Hello. Okay, so you didn't like the fact that I talked about the Holocaust. Well, I'm against the Holocaust. I'm against harming anyone. I am against gas chambers. I'm against needless murder. I'm against racism, speciesism, any kind of discrimination. So why don't you tell me what you stand for? It's interesting, isn't it? That you came here to attack me personally. You are acting in a vegan phobic way instead of actually just listing the problem. There's nothing wrong with comparing two things. You can compare two animals, you can compare two people, you can compare two objects, you can compare anything at all. So why don't you tell me why you think it's okay to put six-month-old baby pigs in gas chambers and murder them when they've done nothing wrong? Call vegan. This is an animal who didn't want to die. This is vegan food. You should give it a try. This was someone's baby that should make you cry. This is vegan food. It should make you smile. It's something you should buy. Okay. Thanks for letting us know, I guess. But what does that have to do with anything? You know, your sexual identity or what you do behind closed doors doesn't really affect us. What I'm more interested in is, what have you done that's good for the world? Did you come out of the closet as a vegan? Did you come out of the closet as an animal rights activist? And if so, what did that feel like? You know, there's a lot of vegan phobia in the world. People um, are mean to vegans because they feel guilty. You know, it's, it's the same as racism and homophobia. Vegan phobia is being cruel to animal defenders. Let me know what you've done that's good for the world. I'm curious. And speciesism. And speciesism. And speciesism. Be kind to the animals. And vegan phobia. And vegan phobia. And vegan phobia. Be kind to the activists. Dance if you're vegan. Hands up if you're vegan. Think you can't do it? Try it. You can. Yeah. What dude? What? Who are you talking about? Okay, listen. Just stay focused, okay? I don't know what you've been taught in school, but eating animals is not good for you. Okay, eating animals, especially processed meat, like bacon, sausage, ham, pepperoni, all of that, is linked to cancer. It is considered a class one carcinogen in the same category as cigarettes. Okay, don't eat hot dogs. Don't eat all that crap. You don't need it. There are vegans in the Olympics right now. So if they can be in the Olympics, don't you think that that means that it's healthy? I mean, how do you think that elephants and bison get so big and giraffes? Where do you think they get their protein? Plants, that's right. You really have to go ahead and Google some vegan doctors. All right, just get educated. Stop hurting the animals, stop making excuses. Go vegan. Did you hear the adage of red cabbage? Did you hear the axiom? Did you hear the truth? Did you hear the adage of red cabbage? It's got cancer-fighting flavonoids, so you should eat it starting in your youth. Did you hear the adage of red cabbage? It's a cruciferous veggie with lots of fiber, that's a fact. Did you hear the adage of red cabbage? It will keep your gut microbiome happy and intact. Vitamins B6, 
nickel in a jar, shredding in a soup. Now you know the cabbage songs, you can sing it in a loop. Vegan doctors, athletes, kids, and parents too, they all eat cabbage, and so should you.